Tony, an inning and a third tonight. Earlier today, Dave Roberts said he was just going to be paying attention to the sharpness and the command. From your vantage point, what do you take out of your outing? Uh, yeah, it wasn't really great today. You know, execution could have been a lot better. Um, you know, fell behind too low, and you know he he had a good pitch. I thought, um, but overall, it wasn't that great today. What in particular were you not satisfied with in terms of, of the command? Was it your slider? What is it that you didn't like? Yeah, mainly the slider. Um, I think I could do a better job commanding that. Uh, it wasn't very sharp from the beginning. I uh, thought splitter was OK. Definitely uh, the best pitch today. Fastball is all right. Can definitely execute a little bit better. Did you get that sense in the bullpen that it didn't seem quite right? Or was that more of something that kind of developed in your outing? Um, it felt all right in the bullpen. I thought it was decently sharp. Uh, I was kind of do, it was doing the action that I wanted it to do. It just once I got into the game, it it just wasn't there. Next question is from Hard Castillo. Go ahead. When were you told you were starting today? Uh, I was told last night. And is there a challenge in you know staying, making sure that you are sharp in, in an outing like this where it's going to be short? You just pitched the other night. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of unconventional. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I did my homework, I did my scouting and all that stuff, and then, you know, work on my sharpness day to day, and whenever I get the ball, I try to do the best I can. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Yeah, Tony, kind of following up on that, too. How difficult has this stretch been? You don't pitch for two weeks, now you've got, you know, two days in between the outings. How difficult has that been? Uh... Yeah, you know, I want the ball. I want to. I want to go out there and uh, give our team a chance to win every time I go out and pitch. So, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a learning experience for me to, you know, doing new things. Um, you know, starting or whatever, and throwing within what like three days or whatever. But um, you know, I'm just trying to take it as a learning experience and grow from it. Thanks. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Tony, you, you talked about the, the learning experience this is, and obviously this is a, a bit of a different role than, than what you were used to all year. And what, what do you feel like you can take from, from going through all of this? Um, I think I can definitely take, you know, trying to maintain my sharpness in between outings, you know, not trying to have all my stuff show up on day five or whenever my start day is. Um, you know, being able to day to day work on that and hone the execution so that it it can be available when I need it. Dave, do you get the sense that you have to have a quicker hook, a, a quicker trigger in a, in a game like this with with a rookie pitcher? Um, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I, I just felt that. Um, you know, I thought that. You know, Tony gave up an early homer second inning of the game, so. Um, I don't know if it was Tony you're referring to or, you know, Dustin, where he was at. Um, you know, he had Lau 0 2, you know, and, and uh, he hung a breaking ball. So, um, and he got two outs. So I don't know, you know, two outs and nobody on base gives up a base hit. So I don't know when the hook's supposed to come. Um, I don't know which other rookie pitcher that, you know, we could talk about giving an early hook to. I just mean with the, with May and Gonsolin earlier today, you had said that you would use your eye test. So I was I'm wondering just what your what your eyes were noticing from both of those two guys. Yeah, um, I, I think that <clears throat> Tony, you know, you know, gave in with the fastball to uh, Lau getting behind and uh, hit a homer, um, gets out of the inning, and then um, you know, right there in that next inning, I just felt that <clears throat> I, I thought uh, after the Wendell, I think fly ball, I thought. Uh, Flow was a better option to get uh, Margot right there, and um, or Adamus, I'm sorry. And we get Adamus, and, and we get out of it with no runs. And for him to start right there, I thought Victor threw the ball well. And uh, you know, there was a double play ball in there. Kike's, in my opinion, the best second baseman in baseball. And we got the force out and just kept it alive, and they got a couple hits together. Um, but you got to give credit to those guys. They, they kept going and scratch and clawing, but so did we. Uh, it was a good baseball game. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. So, how difficult have you guys made it on May and Gonsolin with the way you're using them? They've 
kind of given up uh, seven runs in their last five innings between them. Um, well, I, I think if, if you want, that's a question for them. Um, I, I think that their usage, their, their, they understand that we need to get out every out is important. Um, so that's probably a question for them. In, when you're putting together the, the pitching plan today, it's, it's out of necessity, correct? Is that fair to say? Yeah, because all the pitchers, we didn't have anybody that was on regular, correct? Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Uh, Dave, uh, you guys didn't use Julio today, um, obviously, so he'll be ready to go game four. Uh, just the way your pitching's lined up, I mean, do you, do you still feel you're in control of the series? We feel great, Dylan. Um, we've got Walker going, uh, we've got Julio going, and then we've got Clayton. So, uh, and if you look at kind of where our relievers are set with the off day tomorrow, we're in a great spot. Uh, and just uh, kind of, I know you don't want to play kind of the hypothetical game here, but, you know, with the way it would look today, I mean, if this thing were to happen to go seven games, I mean, would he be a candidate to start? Yeah, I mean, I, the, the goal is not to go seven, but Alex, you know what, this entire postseason, he's pitched really well. And um, I just really like the way he attacked the zone. And so, you know, he'll get a couple days off, and then we'll kind of reassess after that for him. Next question is from Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, just um, why do you think um, May and Gonsolin haven't necessarily been the weapons you would have hoped for um, in October? And and how much more difficult does that make it for you, given how important those guys are to your pitching staff? Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that I still trust them. I still believe them. And they just got to, uh, you know, make pitches. And um, I know that they want to make pitches and execute pitches. So um, we'll kind of look at the video and see what we can do better at. But uh, they're still going to need to get big outs for us. Next question is from Eric Steven. Go ahead. I just want to be clear on Julio. Is, is he starting game four, or would you consider using an opener in that? Yeah, Julio's going to start game four. Thanks. Next question is from Claudia Guestro. Go ahead. So, Dave, you knew that Rays are the toughest team uh, you're facing the postseason. So, what will it win the trophy? Taking advantage of mistakes, making the right moves during the games? Um, I, I, they're a very good team, Claudia. They're the best team in the American League, and um, they pitch well, they defend well. Uh, they're tough. They give you tough at bats, and for us to beat them, we got to play good baseball. So, um, you know, right now we're tied in the series, and uh, be ready to go for Game Three. Next question is from Ken Davidoff. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Just with the uh, the unique schedule of the, these playoffs, as opposed to previous playoffs, not to mention the, the sixty game sprint, how much of a factor do you think fatigue is right now? Uh, you know what? Honestly, I, I don't think it. I, I think. Um, you know, playing seven in a row, um, fortunately we got to kind of use different players and I think the D8 certainly helped uh, for some players, um, namely Will Smith. But off day and then now we play two off, I, I think that this old format that we're used to uh, is certainly uh, welcomed by everyone. Thanks, Dave. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, how valuable was it to see those guys um, out of the pen tonight, um, their guys, you know, Fairbanks? It, it's great, you know, just to kind of put eyes on guys that we hadn't seen before. And uh, and we talk about it, you know, once you see guys once, twice, you just keep getting that familiarity. So that's just going to only benefit us going forward. So uh, that's just a credit to our offense, just continuing to fight um, and uh, claw to kind of make sure those leverage guys got in the game tonight. Next question is from Barry Bloom. Go ahead. Next question is for Pina Kayser. Go ahead, Hannah. Hey, Dave. You, you mentioned uh, the sort of the importance of getting some familiarity seeing their relievers, but then can you talk a little bit about the, the familiarity you guys have in this ballpark, having been here now for a couple series in a row? I think Mookie in particular had an incredible, like, really quick pickup of a carom on some early inning to get a, a to keep the runner at first just how comfortable are you guys in this stadium right now uh we we are extremely comfortable hannah um you know even just understanding how the ball bounces in the infield and you mentioned the caroms and mookie's made a, a several plays against the wall uh cody's made some plays against the wall so uh some of those plays probably are not haven't shown themselves yet which they will in the series but Certainly, I mean, as much as we've played and practiced on this field, it is, I, I think it's an advantage. I have time for one more. Go ahead, Bill. Dave, you talk a lot as a manager about making sure you put guys in a position to succeed. 
how do you balance that here in the postseason with two young pitchers like May and Gonsolin when they're asked to change their roles so drastically from how you use them in the regular season? Yeah, you know, it, it's a it's a it's a big ask uh, to be quite frank. Um, I, I think that you know right now with the off days, you're, you're, every team is going to go down a starter, so that's one thing, um, and, and so people have to adjust to certain roles. Um, and when you're talking about um, playing seven days in a row and, and how you can get as many outs as you can uh, in the in the CS, yeah, I mean, these guys are, are in uncharted territory. And a credit to them, they're not making excuses. They expect themselves to make pitches. Um, so, you know, like I said, Bill, uh, it's different, certainly. But uh, I still, we still need those guys to get important outs going forward for us to win this thing. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, guys. Chris, it seemed like Blake Snell's changeup was really working, particularly innings one through four. What changed for you in the fifth, where you guys were finally able to uh, to get a man on, and then you capitalized with the two run home run? Oh uh, yeah, I thought I thought Kike did a really good job of um, you know making him throw strikes, getting him in the zone. He had a great at bat, um, you know, works the count, and was able to to get that walk. Um, and then yeah, I think we just being disciplined with him. Um, you know, he, he mixes all his pitches in um, and in each count, um, you know, he's not going to give in to you. So I think you just got to kind of battle with him and, and wait for a mistake. Before you hit the home run, the prior pitch was called the ball. Snell thought it was a strike. What did uh, you think it was? And then what did you end up hitting out? Uh, yeah, I think it, I think it, caught the bottom of the zone actually it was a, it was a good change up um, you know I, I don't think um, I don't think it, they were getting the bottom all night though on either side so uh, you know you know kind of just working with the umpire there um, you, and you gotta you gotta see him up um, that's a good pitch and then uh, he left a curveball up and I, I saw it pop and put a good swing on it thank you next question is from Kerry Osborne go ahead Chris, it's been nearly a week since you guys last lost, and there's been some pretty high highs since then. Um, how do you stay the course and not let this loss have a heavier impact than just the one day? Uh, yeah, you know, it was a, a hard-fought game. And, uh, you know, overall I thought, you know, we did a good job of battling. Um, you know, they got some really good pitchers on their end. So, um, you know, I, I thought, uh, you know, they got out to that – early lead and uh, we, we just weren't able to overcome it but um, overall I thought I thought we did a, a pretty good job of um, you know fight until the end and we just weren't able to come up with that big hit we needed. Next question is from Mike DiGiovanna. Go ahead. Yeah um, we've heard a lot about this raised bullpen. What uh, What is your impression after seeing them live for the first time and is it going to help you moving forward to have done that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we knew what we were facing. Um, they got really good stuff. Um, you know, they've been good all year. So we knew it was going to be a challenge for us. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep battling with them. Last question is from Ken Davidoff. Go ahead. Uh, Chris, just wondering uh, how much the schedule, uh, the unusual playoff schedule, has impacted you guys in terms of fatigue? How much are you looking forward to this day off? Oh yeah, a day off would be nice for sure. Um, I think the biggest impact has been on our pitchers. Um, you know, only one day off from a hard-fought seven-game series against the Braves. Um, you know, I think that showed a little bit today. Um, you know, we didn't have all of our guys available, and then um, you know some of the guys were thrown on short rest or no rest. And uh, you know, a day off would definitely be nice. Be nice, especially for our arms.